Two weeks ago, the covers were being taken off at the Dudley Cricket Ground. There was a strange sucking noise, and a crater 40 feet wide appeared not far from the wicket. It was fenced off immediately as emergency infilling began, but it's marked the end of cricket on a site renowned for mining subsidence. The club's directly above the 40-acre Castlefield limestone mine, worked extensively in the middle of last century and then closed. There have been many instances of subsidence over the years, but this recent one meant the cricketers of Dudley had to find a new home. We always hoped that um, it could be filled in and we'd be back playing within a couple of months, but we've since been told by the council that that is not the case and the whole ground has to be vacated. Must be a very sad moment after more than a century of cricket here. Yes, I mean, not only that, but also the work that the club have put in into making Dudley one of the top clubs in the Birmingham League. It's not just the cricketers who are affected. Five local hockey teams will have to find alternative venues, and so will the nearby Dudley Town Football Club, a thriving outfit who recently joined the Premier Division of the Southern League. Twelve percent of Dudley's sporting facilities have been wiped out. Just a few hundred yards away, Dudley Council is conducting a £1 million experiment to infill the southern tip of the mine with rock paste. 25,000 cubic metres of the stuff will be poured in over the next few weeks. A hundred feet below ground, the cause of all the trouble. The remains of the limestone mines that meant work for the men of Dudley for two centuries. These caverns can be dangerous. Subsidence is always a possibility, and chunks of rock occasionally come crashing down. Amazingly, this is just a fraction of the total limestone workings in the black country. Walsall and Sam will all have similar problems, although this mine presents the most urgent problem. Above these mines, there are two arterial roads, a housing development, and, of course, the ill-fated sports complex. Whether you like it or not, you've been left with uh, something of a legacy by the, the forefathers of Dudley, haven't you? Yes, we have, and we obviously have as a council a duty of care as well, and we take that quite seriously. This is why we close the sports area. Regrettable as it is, I mean, that accounts for 12% of our total outdoor sporting uh, opportunities in this, in this area of the borough. Do you think there'll ever come a day when the whole problem will be eradicated and people in this area will be able to sleep a little safely at night? Well, I'm not saying there's any reason for people not to sleep safely now, but having said that, yes, I'd hope the day will come when that occurs. Uh, certainly the government's initial intention was to resolve the problem not just in Dudley but in the black country which involves Sandwell and Walsall as well, by the turn of the century. But we need substantial investment to do that. This trial infilling is monitored 24 hours a day by remote control cameras. Council engineers can check on any serious subsidence problems. We're now beneath the busy Birmingham Road in Dudley, used by 23,000 vehicles a day. This is just a tiny section of the Castlefield mine below Dudley, an indication, really, of the huge problem being faced by the council. After the subsidence of the cricket ground, there are bound to be calls for the whole area to be infilled. It's reckoned that would cost at least £10 million. And remember, this is just one of six limestone mines in Dudley alone.